This is what a swamp cooler looks like without the pads in. I uh, doing a little bit of maintenance this morning. I want to make sure everything's good to go on this since we're going to hit about 117 today. Look at all this calcium buildup. All right, couple things. I don't use air conditioners on my buildings because I need fresh air going in for the quail or the rabbits, depending on what's in there. And I also think that they're a little bit too expensive to run. So I, uh, I get these at Home Depot. This is about a $500 unit. It's meant for 1,200 square feet. This building is only 200 square feet. They're very economical to run. This is what the pad looks like after, I think this is eight months. We got really hard water out here. and This thing weighs about 30 pounds. It's all calcium and there's still some water in there. But anyway, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this out. I've got three pads that go on that and we're gonna replace it with this material here. I'm gonna double stack this inside of those frames show you how so here's the new batting or filter whatever you want to call it put it in place um, I'm not a big fan of this blue stuff but it's what I had on hand you'll see I, I doubled it up on the top portion I don't know if that's gonna restrict the airflow too much but we'll see with swamp coolers you want it to go through the pads kind of slow just so that the air has, or the water has plenty of time to cool the air down. Um, but yeah, once you get these loaded up, I have three of them, put the, uh, put the metal retention springs back in place and grab the whole unit. Kind of see how it looks on the inside here. Just slide it back up into place. I have to hire a film crew just so I can make these videos without being one-handed and working. Nice cold air coming out of there now. Very happy with the work. By the way, anybody want to come clean my quail shed? It's getting a bit crazy. I leave the uh, that sawdust. Gross. I leave the spiders in here to do their job. I don't have any fly traps but I do have an entire army of arachnids that are taking care of my fly problem, little by little. 